Boston Dynamics and Toyota are joining forces to supercharge the advancement of humanoid robots. They're aiming to make smarter robots that can solve real-world problems faster and more efficiently than humans. With the partnership, the Toyota Research Institute gets access to Boston Dynamics' Atlas so it can test its AI on a state-of-the-art humanoid robot. The data and insights gained will be used to refine the Research Institute's AI models. In return, Boston Dynamics can use Toyota's advanced AI to improve Atlas's dexterous manipulation and multitasking abilities. Boston Dynamics, which is owned by Hyundai, says it will explore new AI-based robotics innovations, so Atlas is primed to adapt to real-world scenarios. Atlas has been in development since 2013, when it was introduced as part of the DARPA Robotics Challenge, seeking innovations in disaster response. The robot was designed to complete tasks like turning valves and operating machinery in dangerous environments. It was equipped with advanced sensory systems, including LiDAR and stereo vision, to perceive and interact with its surroundings effectively. With the robot's first major upgrade in 2015, Atlas became more agile and could traverse rough terrain without being tethered to a power source. At first, Atlas required a human operator, but it gained increasing levels of autonomy through subsequent revisions. It evolved to perform tasks independently, making real-time decisions based on environmental conditions. By 2016, a newer and bedazzled version of Atlas went viral performing parkour-like movements. Millions of people watched as the robot jumped obstacles, balanced on one leg, and quickly recovered from falls. It also inspired parodies. All right, where do you want this? Mother Ow! What the f Kevin? Subsequent upgrades improved the robot's abilities to handle real-world tasks like lifting boxes and manufacturing processes. Boston Dynamics retired the hydraulic humanoid robot in April 2024 after 11 years of achievements. The company has since unveiled a new, fully electric version of Atlas designed for real-world applications. The new Atlas features electric actuators instead of hydraulics, improving efficiency, control, and reducing complexity. Electric systems are quieter and more energy efficient, essential for robots performing continuous tasks. Boston Dynamics has also enhanced its software, incorporating advanced AI, machine learning, reinforcement learning, and computer vision to help Atlas understand and adapt to complex situations, boosting its real-world utility. The company emphasized in a blog post that commercializing advanced robots like Atlas requires patience. The Toyota Research Institute, founded in 2016, focuses on artificial intelligence, robotics, and materials science. The Institute says robots should amplify human abilities rather than replace them. Around 2017, the Institute shifted more attention toward robotics for home and personal assistance. Last year, the Institute introduced a new way for robots to learn complex tasks quickly through demonstration. With the system, robots can learn new skills like peeling veggies or flipping pancakes in a single afternoon. Human operators show robots how to complete tasks, and the robots learn from the demonstrations. An AI technique called diffusion policy helps the robots understand and complete the tasks by planning actions step by step. The approach holds great promise for creating what we call large behavior models. Just like large language models have revolutionized chatbots, these behavior models will allow robots to perform useful work in ways never possible before. This approach allows robots to handle tasks in multiple ways, like picking up an object from different angles. By inheriting these insights, Atlas can better perform tasks autonomously, adapt to new environments, and handle versatile challenges. Earlier this year, the research hub introduced its Puño humanoid robot. Puño has soft, tactile sensors covering its hands, arms, and chest to allow for safe, flexible, and reliable manipulation. Puño's design uses bubble-like grippers with tactile sensors to evenly distribute forces and prevent slipping. The robot handles large-scale tasks by using its whole body, not just its hands. People use their bodies in creative ways to manipulate the world around them. Think about getting your groceries into your house in just one trip. You hold multiple bags in your arms, you open the door with your elbow, and then you hold it open with your hip. It's easy to imagine many other tasks, like lifting a large box, moving furniture, or collecting piles of laundry, where you need more than just your hands to get these jobs done. Our work towards truly capable robots involves developing hardware and algorithms that enable them to help with the large, heavy, and unwieldy items in our lives.
The Institute tests these features using teleoperation and simulations to teach Punyo complex tasks. Boston Dynamics is accelerating development of Atlas as a growing array of players race to mass-produce their humanoid robots for industrial and domestic applications. Just last week, Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot stole the show as the EV automaker unveiled its much-anticipated robo-taxi. So, everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. So the same techniques, it's just a robot with arms and legs instead of a robot with, with wheels. And uh, we've made a lot of progress with the Optimus. And uh, as you can see, we, we started it with someone um, in a robot suit, uh, sort of down. And then we've progressed tr dramatically year after year. So if you extrapolate this, you're really gonna have something spectacular. Plans call for limited production of Tesla humanoids in 2025 and wider scale production in 2026. Musk expects the robot to reach a production scale of 1 million units per year within five to six years. California-based figure is another major contender. In January, several of the OpenAI-backed startups figure two robots will start working full-time at the BMW plant in Spartanburg, South Carolina after a successful trial earlier this year. Like Tesla, figure plans to scale production with the third iteration of its robot starting in 2025 with the goal of eventual mass production and deployment. Figure founder Brett Adcock recently said the Figure 3 is designed for high-rate manufacturing and large-scale use in industrial settings. Similar to Tesla, Figure plans to market its robots for domestic use after they prove themselves in factories. Another open ad backed startup, OneX Technologies, intends to introduce its neo-humanoid robots into homes instead of starting an industry. When the much-hyped robot enters homes, it will likely rely on human operators to start. The company plans to use human teleoperation as a stand-in for autonomy at first. So the Neo can still perform chores in a household, but it'll be fulfilled by a human operator who's remotely controlling it. Agility Robotics plans to start manufacturing its humanoid robot, Digit, at its new RoboFab facility in Salem, Oregon. But Agility Robotics claims it's actually the world's first factory for humanoid robots. Let's go check it out. But tell us more about the RoboFab. When did you build this? Yeah, it's been in production for about a year and we've outfitted it to build our next generation robot. The capacity of this 70,000 square foot facility is 10,000 units a year. We will roll up to that over the next couple of years. What are companies asking of you? Why the need for this level of production? Well, the biggest tailwind out there is the large labor gap. There's over a million jobs in the logistics area alone that are going unfilled. Robots like Digit can step in and take those tasks off their hands. I do. GXO Logistics, one of the world's largest logistics and supply chain providers, has already put the bipedal Digit to work as part of a multi-year agreement. The robot is primarily used for logistics tasks today, but the company plans to expand its capabilities as technology advances. There's also an onslaught of advanced AI robots emerging from China, like the Fourier GR2, the Xpeng PX5, the Xiaomi Cyber One, and Unitree's H1 and G1. The short King G1 is especially disruptive with its $16,000 price point. Remember to subscribe to stay hip on the latest in humanoid robotics. Leave suggestions for humanoid robots to include in future roundups in the comments.